Now before we dive in, if you find my videos useful, make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to click that bell icon on the side to get notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online, also for the latest updates. All right, let's dive in. Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the advanced features built in to the Samsung Galaxy S10 and the S10 Plus. Now this is a fantastic smartphone full of deep and rich features. And I wanna make sure that you understand and master every aspect of this smartphone. So let's dive in and get started. So let's go to the settings really quick. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. So if I go to the settings and if you scroll down a little bit, there's a section here that says advanced features. And when you go inside, there's a bunch of features in here that you need to know. And of course, underneath the advanced features, there's also one more menu known as motions and gestures that has even more advanced features. So let's go and explore the entire menu. Now, the very first thing I do want to talk about, I'm going to skip the Bixby stuff over here for now, but I will come back to it towards the end of the video. We are going to go over everything, but I do want to scroll down and go to motions and gestures and just kill this menu and then come right back to the outer menu. So over here, we have an option known as lift to wake. Uh, make sure this is in fact enabled. Basically, this is going to allow you to, if the screen on your phone is off and you lift your smartphone, it is going to turn on the screen when you pick it up. So make sure this uh, option here is in fact enabled. So let me quickly demonstrate the lift to wake feature. The phone is sitting flat on the table and all I'm going to do is lift it and it's going to lift to wake as you just saw. Okay, so if you enable that option, this is the cool thing that you get. So it's on the table, lift to wake. Fantastic. Now this one here, double tap to wake up, is also another option you should enable. So if I have the phone locked, and if I double tap the phone, that's gonna wake up the phone, okay? So if you want that option enabled, make sure double tap to wake is uh, enabled as well. Now smart stay here, I usually disable this, but it's something, uh, if it is something that you need, you can enable this as well. And if I go back in, inside, it actually tells you exactly what it is. So basically smart stay keeps the screen on while you're looking at it, by using the front camera to detect your face. So as long as you're staring at your phone, maybe reading an article or look, uh, it is going to detect that and it's gonna make sure that screen remains open, all right? Now it's something I don't use, so I'm just gonna go right back and disable it. And then we have the smart alert. So let's click over here, it's gonna go inside. But this is a great option. Basically, if your phone, let's say you put your phone on the table and you went outside to do something in the garden and you had a couple calls, maybe a couple messages. When you come back and when you touch your phone and lift it up, it is going to vibrate, letting you know that there are notifications waiting for you to glance at. So that's known as a smart alert, the vibrational feedback that you get when you lift up the phone. Now, if you go over here, this is one of my favorite features. So this is the easy mute feature. So basically, if somebody is uh, calling you or if an alarm is running, there's a couple things you can do to mute the phone without even touching the phone or by flipping the phone over. So let's say somebody did call me and it's the phone is ringing. All I have to do is go like this and it's gonna mute the phone, all right? You can try that right away if you want. And the other option with the easier mute is, uh, if you just grab the phone, let's say the phone is ringing and just flip it over and put it down like this, it is going to mute the phone as well. So that's absolutely fantastic. Now let's go back out here and then we have the one-handed mode. Now this is a true one-handed mode. If you enable this option and if you tap over here and go inside, you can either uh, activate this with a gesture or with a button. I like to use the button, the home button. So if you tap the home button three times, it is going to activate the one-handed mode, which allows you to use your phone with one hand, no problem. You can use the entire phone with just your thumb. And you can also uh, left justify or right justify this as you please, uh, depending on what hand you're holding with, uh, the phone with. And if you tap in the black area here, it just goes back in business to being full screen. Again, triple tap to activate this. Oops, one, two, three. And then when you're done, you tap right here, it goes back in business. This is a great mode for people that want to use the entire phone with one hand, all right? Let's go back here to the settings over here. Now let's go back here. And then we have the palm swipe to capture. So you can take a screenshot of your smartphone by simply swiping your palm across the screen like that. Now you do have to touch the actual screen for this to take effect. If you just do it like this, it's not gonna work. So if I just swipe it, let me just do that right now. 
as you can see it just took a photo all right so make sure that's enabled if that is something that you're looking to do as well and then finally you have the swipe to call or send messages option right here if you click on this so what you can do with this one is if you are in your uh, phone application over here what you can do is you can swipe on any one of these numbers to actually make a call if you swipe to the right it's going to call the person if you swipe to the left it is going to send a message all right so that's an option you want to enable from here if you want that to work it is going to work in the phone application under recents and contacts as you please all right so swipe to call or send messages now let's go back out and talk about these tactics over here now one thing i'm going to get out of the way is the video enhancer feature so make sure this is enabled basically as long as the video enhancer is enabled it is going to enhance any image quality of your videos on any video playing app and you're going to get brighter and more vivid colors so basically if you disable this that's what you get if you enable this as you can see the photo became more vivid and again this is for video only not for photos but for videos now let's go back up over here and let's talk about the accessories now if you tap on the accessories you get a breakdown uh, anytime you connect any wired or wireless accessories to your smartphone uh, if they have any specific options they're gonna pop right here right now we only have the fast wireless charging option which can be enabled or disabled uh, there's no need to disable this always keep this enabled to get the maximum speed so let's go back again if you connect any accessories and if there's more options they'll show up right here then we have the Bixby key customization so if you tap on this one you can actually customize the Bixby key to launch applications when you do a single press and then when you do a double press it's going to launch Bixby if you go over here single press is going to actually launch Bixby and double press is going to launch the calculator as you can see but I can always go inside and customize which application I want uh, the double tap or the single tap to actually launch so that's the Bixby key customization option if you don't like Bixby or if you just want to make sure that when you press this it just launches an application you can come here choose this option tap on this one and pick the app that you want to uh, uh, activate when you just tap this once but if you tap it twice it is going to launch uh, Bixby and if you press and hold it is going to launch Bixby voice to give commands to all right so let's quickly talk about the send SOS uh, SOS messages here so if you go in here and if you enable this you get to activate a really powerful feature so you have to pick a contact from here and then enable attach pictures and attach audio recording now if you were in an emergency situation what you could do is you can triple tap the power button really quickly and what that's going to do is send a message to this person that you picked up and also attach pictures from the front camera the back camera and also uh, record an audio attachment to it as well so if you are in danger this is the perfect option to have you just do a triple press on this one and boom that person gets a message and then from there that person uh, can take the potential actions necessary to save you again this is an emergency option that you want to enable just for safety and protection beyond that it has no use and of course we have the game launcher over here so if you enable the game launcher it is going to actually create a brand new game launcher folder that when you go inside it is going to organize all your games in one place and of course you have other things here that you can do as well if you so desire you have these settings here go inside make all kinds of modifications if you're a gamer you're going to find about this all right and then when you launch a game you do get a little icon at the bottom here and here that gives you additional options all right so if i pull this up again and if i tap on this one i can take a screenshot i can record a uh, video of the actual game i can screen touch lock i can do navigation button lock and all these various options what i want to want you guys to do if you are a gamer just enable the game mode uh, launch a game and just play with these settings and you'll get to know them very quickly but this is the game launcher that gets activated when you allow for this option and like i said when you're playing the actual game you have all these options at the bottom here available to you you can even enable or disable dolby atmos surround sound for gaming right from here absolutely fantastic if you're a gamer and finally let's talk about the bixby routine so bixby routines are quite powerful basically uh you can set certain things to happen on your phone automatically when a certain time is reached 
So when you go inside, you have a bunch of recommended routines. You can go in, customize them, and then save them into my routines over here. So just as, a, as an example, I'm going to do the good morning. So tap on this one. And then the first thing you want to do is pick a time. So if time is equal to, just an example, tap on this. Uh, let's just say 5.30. And I know that's not the morning, so let's just do a.m. Then click next. Take these actions. So I can erase actions and I can add actions. So let me just, as an example, pick this. Bluetooth on. Wi-Fi on. And also data off. Okay, and then I click done, and that's my routine. If I tap on it, we have a dashboard here telling me what's happening with that routine. That's what you're going to see in the morning when the time hits uh, 5.30 a.m. Again, you go back here, you pick whatever you want, you pick a place or a time. So if that time is reached or if I'm at that place, then do these things. And again, Tap to customize, okay? You tap, tap to customize, plus to add more routines, minus or remove, minus uh, button to remove routines. So just play with this a little bit. It's actually quite a powerful feature. Uh, everything's gonna start happening automatically when you reach work or when a certain time gets uh, reached. And then you have all these other possible combinations and features. Uh, quite an advanced feature. Take your time with this one. And that brings us to the end of this video, guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, just drop them down below. And if you do have any tips and tricks for other people watching this video, also drop those down below. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button. And also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.